it's John Walden from Revocation Radio, and this is the Chili Head Challenge. Uh, him and McJonesy, he was the first one to text and say, hey, I'd love to come try what McJonesy's doing with these hot peppers. And then boom, Ryan was here every week. And then Ryan got a job that was earlier in the day than what he had before, and he was no longer able to show up. So that's okay. But Ryan. Yes. That burger was delicious. Absolutely. I just want you to know that. Good deal. Ryan, Ryan cooked my burger on Saturday oh, from, at oh. Rusty's over in Leeds. It was awesome. He didn't even know it was for me, and he still did a good job. <laughs> I hear a lot of good things about that place, to be honest. Yeah, they do a great job yeah. over there, man. So Ryan, Ryan's just, he's the main cook, you know, he does it all. That's he's the man. Nice. That's, that's that a lot. He's the main. <laughs> that is a fib. That is a fib. That is a fib. I just happen to be the one on the grill at the time. There you go. See? It still worked out for me. And the bacon work? was not too crispy, it was just right. Do you work yep. the pit? No. That would be fun, man. I would like to be the pit master. Yeah. <laughs> that just sounds like an awful job. The pit master. No, that sounds like a fun job. It does. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, if you know what you're talking about. Right. If you have a right. passion for cooking and yeah. barbecue. Like if you know, if you know yeah. it's barbecue, I'm saying just in general life, if you were to walk up to somebody and say, I'm the pit master, but that sucks. <laughs> yeah. What do you got to do? Just smell people's armpits, all that? You know? <laughs> By the way, yeah. That's what I'm, that's what but I'm saying. But you know, I'm trying to be the number one hot sauce maker in the state of Alabama. There you go. Yeah. And, Tom, uh, it's all about you. It's, well, you know, I, I, I have to say that... Well, we just blew I'm Ryan the one that's going to promote myself, water, John. Right? Nobody else promotes me. Really? Even my, even my wife. So the other day on Facebook, I posted yep. as a challenge. I make the best hot sauce in Alabama. And that Alabama is a virtual hot sauce desert. And I am the much needed rain. you got to have confidence. That's right. Man, if only there was a radio station that would help you promote what you do. Yeah. I, w I wish there was <laughs> one that had some listeners. In there, you know? <laughs> They're all in this room. Yeah. They said, we have no listeners now because you're here. What's your demographic? <laughs> oh, four. <laughs> Not yeah. age. Well, mentality, maybe. Yeah, that's that's our number. Oh, oh to four. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Chili Hit Challenge is on. And uh, not only the triumphant return of Ryan, but the not-so-triumphant return of Rick. Uh, we didn't ask him to come back, but he just decided to. <laughs> uh, that was his own decision, not ours. Uh, he actually just showed up. Wasn't even expecting that. Was really hoping. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and of course, Rick came in with something ridiculous. He had on his bubba teeth this morning, so that was good. Well, I figured he, you know, gave me like six excuses in two chili head challenges. I thought he <laughs> showed up because he don't have any more excuses. That's right. He, he wasted six excuses for only right. two They're shows. Done. They're done. And he could have used that for a month and a half. Right. It would have been <laughs> golden. Nonetheless, we have peppers for you today in the chili head challenge. So, Tom, what peppers do we have? We're, we're going to do a grab bag here. It's going to okay. be a. Pepper roulette. We, we have very rare peppers today. We have, um, uh, I'm not sure about the heat level of some of them, but let's talk about them. Okay. These are from, once again, from my friend Jim Duffy out in San Diego, California. He is a great uh, pepper grower. The first one here is a pimento de nade crossed with a ghost pepper. Okay. So it is a pinto, pimento de nade is, of course, a black pepper. It grows black, it stays black, it never changes color. This is a ghost pepper. Um, Until it's mixed with another one and it gets some red spots. Right, it gets yeah. red of the, of the boot jalokia in it. The next one I have is a pepper I heard about from a person from the Bahamas but never have seen it until now. It's the Bahamian goat pepper. Beautiful yellow pepper. It looks like a little pumpkin. Hey, Rick, will you turn that screen toward With like a nose sure or will. something. It's like a pumpkin yeah, with a nose. Yeah, pumpkin with a nose. Not quite <laughs> a stinger. The next one, this I know has got to be hot because it is a seven pot Jonah crossed with a seven pot Primo. Both very hot peppers. Is that a banana? No. It's about as big as a banana. It's about as big as it a banana. It is a big that, pepper, That is a huge pepper. But it's a beautiful pepper, and if it has any of the uh, characteristics of both seven pots, it's going to be a very flavorful pepper. Maybe one of the hottest ones. I don't know, though, because also yellow peppers tend to be milder uh, than, than their uh, yet, uh, red and chocolate counterparts. But this is the yellow naga. Now, for those that don't know, naga is the other uh, word for goat, ghost pepper. You have two types of ghost peppers. You have the boot jalokia and the naga jalokia. This is the naga, yellow naga. And then, um, this came out of my garden this morning. This is a fatale. I just picked it on the way out. It's still got just a touch of green on it, but it is a beautiful little fatale pepper, which I accidentally grew. I didn't even which is just barely hotter than a habanero. Yes, yeah, a little okay. bit hotter than a habanero. And the flavor is outstanding. Great sauce peppers, by the way. Some of my favorite sauces. Are that's probably, you just came really to show that one because that's not hot for anybody in the room, really. Unless somebody wants to add it on top of what well, yeah, so we can do a double like top. that. Yeah, yeah Chris, and then, Chris and then, is like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let me do it. And I really should have done a little research, but this is the, <laughs> on this pepper, this is the Tobago Treasure from Trinidad. 
I don't know what the heat level is on it. I don't know what the flavor level is on it, but uh, it's a uh, it's pretty gnarly looking curled up skinny pod. So it almost looks like a yellow um, cayenne or a golden cayenne, but it's a little bit oranger than that. So we'll see. All right, so we got a, a random selection here. Yes. Uh, and so let's see. Ryan hasn't done this in a while, but he's been eating peppers and making hot salsa and stuff. So. So you still feel pretty confident, Ryan? You still feeling pretty good? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm ready. He, he, he's not concerned. All right. So Ryan can have a pretty hot one. Jason, I don't think you should eat one. Mm -hmm. I don't. Not if you've got an ulcer in your mouth. Yeah, no, dude. Yeah. Ulcers are not. That's not fun. Yeah. That's not. You, you're not going to eat a pepper. No. I'm not going to let you. Unless you want to eat the one that's like a habanero. You can do that one if you want to. I don't think you should eat it. I, I think the honestly. goat pepper's like a habanero okay. as well. Too. Yeah. It is actually in the habanero family. Like I think this one's like a habanero, so you should try this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. I would like to try that one, but I'm, I can't eat the whole thing. There's Which one? Yeah. He wants the long one, the new one. Oh, the tomato? Yeah. The tomato? It, you know, I, I'm, I'm because... But it might be hot. It's, it's well, not a super hot, though. You're no, it's sure. not a super hot. I can tell you that. But, yeah. but one of the things that Jim told me, he was going to be sending me some milder peppers as well yeah. for me to review for him because I told him I'm done with the super hots this year. Right. I'm done. I mean, uh, I'm getting to the point now where my body just can't take... Super hots make me throw up. I right. I don't, the heat, I don't <laughs> care about I can take the heat all day long, so I may start doing them and spitting them out, you know. Right. But when I swallow them, I'm going to throw up. Yeah. Um, so, um, and today I'm going to a funeral as soon as I leave here, so I definitely don't want to have capsaicin cramps while I'm No. Uh, yeah. Not good. Did y'all yeah. know super hot make you throw yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chris doesn't. Beautiful. Yeah, Chris, Obviously. Chris doesn't experience anything. By the way, <laughs> you know, I should have known this. Chris has no emotion. Well, Chris is a former Marine. Yes, and you should have. You're saying you should have known that. I should have yeah. known. I mean, my goodness, it doesn't know, let it affect him. It, it, it lets him. It burns him just like anybody else. I promise you, peppers yeah. will burn. But he has mastered the mind over matter part of it, and that's what it's all about. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's good. And, right. and, and, and it's an opposite example. Watch Rick so leave. <laughs> There's no mind because it don't matter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't matter. No, you know I'm going to throw up. That's right. Yeah, yeah we know Rick. We expect to watch Rick scan. We like to watch me go get You have to crawl it. under yeah, the but, camera tripod. Yeah, you, you, right. might, you might want to go ahead and get the trash can. Slide it under the tripod before you break the camera. Let's not bump the camera with you. Because that ain't no $200 camera. Yeah, that's not <laughs> All right, so uh, distribute accordingly then. Okay, it doesn't um, really matter. No, it doesn't really matter, Chris. I mean, uh, you're. Oh, he's going candy. for the. High, he always goes for the hottest. I love that. Yeah. It's like you know what? Let's go to the front. This line. is his man man moment of the week. You gotta understand, <laughs> right? Well, I, I'll go with the seven pot also. Okay. Oh, Ryan's nice. going to go same go pepper. Seven pot. Nice, yes. Yes. nice. All right, Rick, you're the last one. What you want? I want to try the Tobago. Because I don't know how hot it is or what it's going to taste but like. But we know it's not a super hot, though. We uh, are very informed. Well, I could still throw up even though it's not oh, a super hot. Oh, come on, Rick. Come on. Has it been a while since you ate anything? Any peppers? Oh, I don't eat peppers like Tom. The yeah. only time I eat peppers is in here. Okay. Well, there you go, then. No more reviews or anything. Oh, Tom's just going ahead and try it out. Oh, Tom's going to go ahead and lay one of the ones here. Let me see that other Oh, one. he doesn't get one. It's not even hot. you got to eat a hot pepper. That is hot. <laughs> Got flavor, but no heat. Tom's eating he pepper. He I'm said he wasn't going to. All right. <laughs> Broke off, yeah. All right, so we'll make it official. There we go. Uh -oh. There we go. Oh, he's going to try to crossbreed. That probably that probably be pop, pretty hot. But that, that's an unstable pepper, much like Rick. It makes sense. <laughs> it's in my mouth water. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's got a great flavor, but I'd say the heat level is lower than a kind of that Tobago one. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So here we go. Make it official no. with mm -hmm. this. <laughs> Officially in three, two, one, bites! Rick, no, that no, was you too. Okay. Old pepper. Alright, old pepper. There we go. We got it. Alright, the chewing has begun. The real question is, will Ryan live up to his name and turn white? I want to know. <laughs> uh oh, he's looking for something. He, oh, his drink. Oh, it's, it's, okay, he's got napkins. He's got napkins. All right, Rick is squinting, and uh oh, it's hurting. Already hurting Rick. All right, Chris is just chewing. Ryan is just chewing. Ryan did go ahead and lift his hat a little bit, though. And um, that way, if the sweat starts coming, oh, Rick is already getting cramps. He's trying not to throw up. I got heat building now myself. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Probably not super hot. <laughs> right, right, right. But you can still feel it ramping up. Okay. 
Chris is eating it like it's a pop tart. I mean, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> I have yeah. to say, it's a lot funner being on this side. Right, right now. yeah, because you're not. You actually get to watch everything. I'm glad Rick time. reacts to peppers. Yeah, it's kind of boring when you sit there and watch people don't react. Well, if you watch Chris, yeah, We're Rick is kind of joking around. And Rick is right in the front of the the lens as well. Oh, he's got the Ryan's eyes are glazing over. Look yeah, at that. a little bit. Yeah. But oh, well, and Rick's hiccups. got the hiccups. Yeah. Oh, that's the word. Uh, Rick's Rick's got the crazy eyes right now. He's trying to swallow it. He's trying to finish the challenge officially. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan's cleaning his teeth with his tongue. He's good. They got it everywhere. Yeah. Stuck. It's, oh yeah. But you feel good. I'm feeling it. Feeling it. But I'm you feel out. good. You haven't turned white yet. I'm out. Is he out? Challenge has failed for Rick. <laughs> Ryan. And Chris I got. Are good. Uh, I'm trying uh, to decide which pepper to eat next. No. <laughs> Hey, this, this one's like, so that black one over it there. It's <laughs> great, man. <laughs> Rick's like, yeah. All right, 8.44 in the up. morning overload. We'll get more thoughts in a few oh, moments on the Chili Head Challenge. Wow. Mm. Oh, it's stuck in my teeth. Mm. Ryan's eyes are really glazed over now. Well, I think it's tears. <laughs> Follow what you want. Anybody yes. getting a rush yet? It's tears. Um, you ought to. You haven't had one in so in a while. I had a whole one. What's that? My knife. <sighs> Believe it or not, just a half a pepper I just ate is boiling on my stomach. Have you got a? You got it's your not knife that hot. It was because I have empty stomach. Yeah, it's because I have an empty stomach. You and Rick has apparently gotten uh, <laughs> gotten all out of here. He's he's left. He's hurting. The bell right. pepper is Again. too much for him. The, <laughs> <laughs> the problem the problem is, and let's just be honest, since he's not in the room or listening to us. Okay. You saw that hair, right? Yeah. He's a girl. It's his own. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. He had a girl. Well, you know what? I'm just saying that because uh, if you go to my comment section on the Chili Head Challenge, Rick's uh, it's entitled "Rick Attempts to Drink a Bottle of Hot Sauce." He had a girl rag on him and call him a pansy and say, those pansy grocery store hot sauces don't count. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. There you go. Rick, it's a pansy! We should get the uh, the clip from Madagascar and start using that. Have you seen that? It's the pansies! Anthony, could you it's make like, that happen for us, please? There's somewhere. Yeah. Nonetheless, we've got it somewhere. <laughs> or we don't, but it's, it's online. Oh, he's back. See, he wasn't gone that long. He wasn't gone too long. It doesn't take too long if you do your stomach. No, uh... When you've only got a pepper. Did you eat breakfast, Rick? No. You, oh. He knows better. Yeah. Look at the, look at that I mean, big Gatorade. Any, I didn't realize how big that Gatorade was. Are there any paper towels left in yeah. the bathroom? No. <laughs> Rick has taken all the paper towels from the bathroom. They're all gone. All right. So as we recap, uh, Chris had no tears, no sweating. Uh, his nose ran ever so slightly. <laughs> he he dabbed his nose. He didn't have to right. blow his nose. He didn't have to wipe it on his sleeve or nothing like that. He dabbed his nose. I'm good. <laughs> he ate two, two, two or three. I ate two. You ate two. So and you're a beast. And let me say this, Jim Duffy, who will watch this. Uh huh. Jim, that Tobago. Um, let me read the name again. I'm sorry. It's my mind. <laughs> the uh, the Tobago Treasure is an awesome flavored pepper. I'd say heat level somewhere around the cayenne. It doesn't hit you at first, then it kind of it builds because that's all I had was the Tobago Treasure. But the flavor was outstanding. He keeps sending me these great flavored peppers. I mean, so uh, compare the uh, the heat level on that to a habanero. Oh, way below. Way below. I'd say it's a little above a cayenne level. Okay. So uh, the go. Tobago Treasure, yeah. But uh, the flavor was just outstanding. So that's a that's a meal pepper for you right there. Then you eat it with your meal. You mix. Oh it yeah, definitely with eat your it with dishes. The meal. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. Definitely eat it with the meal. Very good. So Chris, you feel all right? Feel good. I feel great. What was the second one that you ate? Uh, that one. The uh, the tobacco, tobacco treasure. Okay. What do so. you think of the flavor of that one, Chris? I mean, I always think salsa whenever I eat a hot pepper, so it yeah. seemed like that would be it's a all great, salsa. Yeah. great extra pepper in a salsa. It would be. Or, or it'd make a great sauce. That flavor would come through really well in a hot sauce. So. Right. Uh, Ryan never turned white, Ryan White. Now, he is a little <laughs> bit right now. Uh, but not anywhere near what he used to do. You I haven't. well. Yeah, you haven't eaten a whole pepper in quite some time. You've been tasting them as you've been making your sauces, but how'd that one feel to you? I haven't eaten a whole super hot. Uh, whole I super ate a hot, small yeah. red one. Kind of looked like a Thai pepper. I forget what the guy called it, but um, that was hot. Yeah, that was definitely hot. You feel good though? Yeah. 
I felt it on my stomach a little bit. I burped. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, that's funny. Jason, did you lick the tobacco? Yeah, I did. You did. How did it feel? Yeah. I mean, it's good. It does it's have good. a good flavor. Oh, yeah, it's a good flavor. So look at that. Jason is a true chili hit. Even with an ulcer in his mouth, yeah. he was like, well, I just want to taste well, it. You know, I, the, uh, yeah, maybe to get rid of it. You yeah, know. you never a know. A little bit yeah. may help. Hey, yeah. they, they are medicinal. Right. Mm -hmm. I want to know about this, this boot. Uh, pimento Diné cross. What was the flavor like on yeah. that? The flavor is excellent. Uh, it's still... More of a ghost smoky flavor? Definitely. Uh, it's, right. it's it's a definite uh, ghost smoky flavor. I mean, when I bit into it, I could tell it was a ghost. Even if you hadn't said it was a ghost. It tastes like a ghost pepper. It's hot. It has good, a lot of seeds in it because when I swallowed twice, I swallowed seeds. But, and of course, I didn't finish it all. But it was just building and building and building and it just hurt. It, of course, it's supposed to, but the flavor... <laughs> it's supposed to hurt. The flavor is good, and when you were saying about a salsa, I could definitely see this in a salsa, and I can definitely see this in a sauce, and it would be fantastic, because it is a really good, good flavor. So there you go. Um, except the fact that I failed the challenge, I really do like this pepper. It's been a while since Rick's eaten a pepper, so we'll let him slide this time. Thank you. Just this time. Hey, oh, he's, he's emotional about it. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. <laughs> I don't want you to call me a pansy anymore. Don't call me a pansy. They love me. Everybody but Anthony loves me. So there you go, Chili Head Challenge done for today. If this is something you would like to do, uh, please feel free. We'd love to have you in the studio. Yeah, because, come on in. You know, these guys, they'll take a break from it for a week. It's not going to hurt their feelings. I mean, but Chris actually wants to eat everything. Chris, you're boring. I mean, you're just boring. And, and let me yeah. show you, this is just winding down. Uh oh. Uh, you know, like it always does. Yeah. But for the Chili Head Challenge in the winter, we will definitely have plenty of hot sauces to, oh, yeah. to uh, and kick it up. Drinking around. challenges. Drinking uh, challenges. Uh, hot sauces. With less. Yeah. Challenges. Yeah. That's, um, <laughs> well, that was implied. I figured that was I'm implied, people. Laugh. Laugh. But, but there may be people in the audience like me that think, wow, those Christians are going to have a drinking challenge. <laughs> <laughs> a hey, hot sauce you know, drinking you challenge. You sit around your radio and you think, every shut, time they shut, say Chili Head, drink. <laughs> That's true. Because like, if, if that was true, I'd be like, chili head, chili head, chili head, chili head, chili head. <laughs> <laughs> we just have to make sure all the sauces don't have too much salt. That's right. Check the sodium level before you. we get yeah, rid of those things. Do have a Anthony it. agreed with him. Anthony it, tried. Well, he, said, uh, he said that one had quite. I mean, if you got 240 bit. milligrams of salt in a uh, one serving in a five ounce bottle, that is a lot of salt. Because yeah. what my uh, nutrition panels came out to be is 35 milligrams of salt per serving. Which is very low, little, very low. Salt. Yeah, and Rick's okay with that. Too much salt. Yeah, bad thing. Bad thing. So let's see him kill one of my. You may live longer, sauce. or your body may live longer. You, you might stop breathing, but yeah. still. I got some sauce called Tribulation. I'd like for you to kill, Rick. <laughs> and it's very low salt content. Yes, it is. Yeah, very high oh, pepper that's a good Very sauce. high yeah. pepper content. That's a good sauce. Yeah. All right, check it out on YouTube. YouTube.com/slash <laughs> Rev Tommy Two Tone Rev Tommy. The number two tone. Log on, check it out. It's on YouTube. That video will be uploaded uh, probably, probably this tonight. Okay. May I may I correct you on something? What's that? Uh, YouTube.com slash user slash Rev Tommy Two Tone. You can't just put in Rev Tommy Two Tone. Well, you, if you go to YouTube, you can search Rev Tommy Two Tone. Yeah, I definitely come up. But uh, if you're gonna put the whole <coughs> link in, you have to put the user. Really? In. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Is that new YouTube thing? No, you start doing that? That's the way they've always been. Oh, I just never have correct the board. You should have told me. I'd yeah, love I'm to know that. I'm okay with that. That's good. I'm not too good to be hey, corrected. Yeah. Does it? Does? Yeah. Okay, so well, then why do we always put. Sl oh, I know what slash. it is. We put slash user, then slash YouTube, uh, then slash Rev Tommy Two Tone because that brings you to the channel instead of directly to that video. Then you can choose which video. Oh, look. Yeah. Balance on it right now. There you go. There we go. He just typed it straight in without user. There's the one. No, he's zooming oh. in for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you can see that on the TV. All right, coming up next, Bowman. your apparel FX top five and I count down on the morning overload. <laughs> hey, go to the one, the first one with the phone on it right there. See the phone, the old phone, we're sitting there talking. That's, That's the one, one I picked yeah. it up and said, no, I'm, I'm not, not getting, getting the off table on. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Rev Tommy Two Tones, the Rick the Village Chaletti at High. We're coming to you today on a review for Josh, Josh Delancey out jo of uh, Josh Florida Delancey. with his Wild Boy sauces. Today it's going to be not just you guys are peach. Tied it out right there. Uh, mm -hmm. Josh can be found at www.wildboysauces.com and crimson. info at 
wildboysauces.com, and we'll leave links in the description, so, of course, some of below. Uh, this says it's a unique blend not, of peaches and spices, Thai dragon chilies, which I love the Thai dragon, the flavor of the Thai dragon is a killer. killer it flavor, is phenomenal. It's a sweet, yeah, spicy, right, and savory. For me. Right it's on chicken yeah. or ribs, veggies, try it on chips, cream cheese, and crackers, or make a dip with it. Mayo or you could just drink the whole bottle. What does it say about a spoon? Does it say try a spoon? It doesn't say that, but you know we're going to do that first. Yes, but I'll right. tell you right now, I'll try hot sauce on anything. I like to try to mix it up and see what it makes. Especially, you know, hot sauce for me makes okay. uh, broccoli palatable. Okay. Because I don't like broccoli. Just about that, yes, yes. Matter of fact, I hate broccoli. Hot sauce on really what, what is the phone? That's a really strange phone 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 phone. My wife's old man takes. She's got it. Healthy. We've got no fat. Like porch, we've got a four panel anyway, Coke box from the 30s. Yeah. It still works, one, actually. But, uh, she takes and, uh, 75 bucks for it and Coca Cola themselves and gives her $3,000 for it right now. She won't sell it. When Here she got it before me, I'm selling the crap out of it. Call that into the crap. When she dies before me, that sounds like, like a confession to me. Oh, my, my goal is to have a first since I've had heart problems. But I think I may just use that for her. Everybody's got to have a go on life. I mean, be cheap. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're going so fast. I learned in my hot sauce making that you can use certain spices because you don't think it's best to make it. Because you use so little of it, you don't have to I don't think I'm going to answer this one. Oh my gosh. You only got the one? Two. Yeah, has they a, had uh, another one come out. What's all the time. Is all the time. Is it yeah. ringing? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, that, was, that one's been on there. Sorry. It's on the table. Oh, well, it, when it rings. It hasn't ringed. I'm getting something different every time. I might have to put it on the phone. You know what? It's smelling buttery to me, actually. Really? It's those peaches in there. Got that buttery mm -hmm. smell. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh man, you're right. That's got. That's just got a. Uh, that was some great sauce. It's got a lot of different. But some of fun. Yeah, oh, yeah, it really it's was. Got a lot. Yeah. I don't oh, that on my wife's table because she would kill us. See that? I just set up the phone call and didn't even know it was so. What, so I said, "Don't get that on my wife's table because she will kill me." Phone call or something. I'm sure. Now. Mm. I, I practice oh, hitting seven. the phone. It's time to do on your morning overload. It's mm. time to wake up with Royal Cup. Royal Cup coffee mm. is coffee oh, house hey. quality coffee, mm. cappuccino, hot tea, mm. and iced tea. Mm. Delivered directly to your door anywhere in the world. So homes, churches, businesses, Ooh. events, like anybody can have Royal Cup products. Over 60 mm. blends of flavors. Think about that. That's a lot to choose from. Lots of options. And it can provide all of the sugar, sugar substitute, creamer, and more. Royal Cup coffee with EspressShips.com. Helping you wake up on the morning overload. So, <laughs> the old ringtone sounds on my phone. And it's all brought to you by practicing. Apparel FX. Apparel FX is but where they do customized so apparel, so any size of order, from a few to thousands. Mm -hmm. And it's totally totally customized, I didn't know whether it's embroidered or monographed, so, okay, well, well, or with rhinestones. All that is available through their website by calling them. ApparelFX.com uh, and, and the phone number 205 683 6500 over a thousand items in their catalog to choose from. And they're absolutely. always bringing you the top five songs this every single weekday morning. We kick things all, off with so love and death. This one no. is called Meltdown. It's not particularly thick, but it's not particularly thin. Nope. It's got chunks of peppers. <laughs> Yes. Seeds. <laughs> yes. No. Oh my God. Yes. It's, just, um, it's amazing. Awesome. Rick. Yeah, and Rick. Even Rick. Rick is just going to agree with Burn everything he says. Yeah, it's yeah hot, I totally agree. It, yeah. It, it, uh, I can't agree more. Oh, no, seriously. I can't agree more. You can kind of feel it still down there a little bit. I got to go. But well, when it's good, I'm not going to disagree with yeah, the man. Go I got to go. Let me tell you what I think. I'm going to try some of this mixed in some sour cream as a deal. Uh, first of all, sorry, I'll keep it down even a little more. Yes. And my wife will talk about it. Well, it's really not too hot for her because it burns out so quickly. It's got a good initial mouth burn. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. But it burns out quickly. <laughs> That's why I told uh, you. I didn't want you to This will go on a lot of things. Just everything you say is real. I mean, it would be good as a glaze uh, last minute. On oh, no, that would be cool. Yeah. It's bad timing for it today. Oh, hey, I'm only going to give it a three out of ten. But I'm a chili head, and that's what I'm calling it. So for 
for anybody else, it might be a five out of ten. I don't know. It burns out pretty quickly. I did feel still a little residual I got on my nails here. Okay, I, I didn't know where it happened. It's not only hot, it's blue out, unfortunately. It's hot chili to me. It was flat. It's probably one of the most perfect wow. heated chilies yeah. there is anyway. I was in the far left place. For me, I'm going to go one up. I'm going to go with the floor. It's scary. I like it. It has a little tang to it. I felt it. I break. I pulled over. I love the peppers in there. Someone's calling. Let me get that. Someone's calling. Hello? No, you just have to be soft on your tablecloth, I promise. No, 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 I'll, I mean, you can come check it yourself. It's plastic anyway. Yeah, why? Yes. It's not. Oh, it's not? No. Oh, it looks like one of the plastic ones. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to get the No, no you did it on the spot. Yes, I'm working on my sermon for Sunday. Yes. Yes, I know this phone's not plugged up, so what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> To know what that is. Yeah, some. <laughs> I'm working on my <laughs> <for> Sunday. <laughs>